At a processing factory in Uganda, workers crush tons of organic wastes. They are on the last step of making barricades, a type of green charcoal. Workers then mix the compressed waste material with charcoal dust and later fuse it with a binder. The move is part of efforts to get low-income earners to use sustainable energy to meet their fuel demands. The barricades also release fewer carbon emissions. Briquettes can burn between one hour and four hours, which traditional charcoal does not provide this time of burning. So that means if I can burn a batch of briquettes between one hour and four hours, I'm saving on the energy that I should have used. Charcoal does not burn beyond two hours. When I was using ordinary charcoal, I would use a bag, a full bag, for two weeks. But when I'm using briquette, I spend over a month with one bag. Sometimes two months or one and a half months. So it lasts longer than my ordinary bag. So when we come to those initiatives of recycling material to get like charcoal briquettes and any other for saving energy, we also have to factor in the issue of affordability. And how do we do that? We may need to work with government in one, making also reducing the cost of production for these investors in the energy saving uh, in, in, in that sector or in that line. Founded in 2011, GBE is also keen to help conserve Uganda's forests. Uganda loses at least 70,000 hectares of forest cover annually to the lucrative charcoal trade. Susan Mungeli, CCTV.